Hello everyone. We will be talking about a case against Facebook which was brought to the Irish Data Protection Commissioner by Max Schrems. In the case, Schrems challenged the transfer of his data and the data of EU citizens to the US through Facebook. This case led to the invalidation of safe harbor arrangement which was produced as a verdict by the Court of Justice of the European Union. Let's start by talking about who is Max Schrems. So Maximilian Schrems, usually referred to as Max Schrems, is an Austrian activist and author who became known for campaign against Facebook for privacy violation, including its violation of European privacy laws and a leash transfer of personal data to the US National Security Agency as part of the NSA's PRISM program. While studying law during a semester abroad at Santa Clara University in Silicon Valley, Schrems decided to write his paper on Facebook's lack of awareness of European privacy law. After being surprised by what the company's privacy lawyer, Ed Palmier, said to his class on the subject, he later made a request under the European right of access to personal data provision for the company's records on him and received a CD containing over 1200 pages of data, which he published at a European website with personal information redacted. He filed a first round of complaints against the company with the Irish Data Protection Commissioner in 2011. In 2012, Feb, Richard Allen and another company executive flew to the Vienna to debate these complaints with him that lasted six hours. Facebook was audited under the European law and had to delete some files and disable its facial recognition software. Let's talk about the case background and also the EU privacy laws. The Schrems case addresses one of the core tensions between EU and US privacy law and the international agreements and contracts that have been used to address the data protection gap. The key issue in both cases is whether US ensures adequate protection of personal data as required to permit international data transfers under EU law. Unlike in the United States, the default role in the European Union is that data transfers are prohibited. A transfer of personal data is permitted only if certain criteria are met. The European Data Protection Directive is the EU law embodying this norm. The directive states that transfer of personal data to a third country may take place only if that country ensures an adequate level of data protection. The directive also provides that the European Commission may find a third country ensures an adequate level of protection. If the Commission adopts a decision to that effect, the transfer of personal data to the third country concerned may take place. In July 2000, the European Commission adopted a decision declaring that the United States provides for adequate safeguards for data protection. The decision of the company was based on the Safe Harbor Framework. The Safe Harbor Framework arrangement consisted of data protection principles to which American companies could subscribe voluntarily in order to engage in cross-border data transfers. Thus, the protections for user data relied on self-assessment and self-certification by private companies. Now, let us talk about the actual case. The data that Schrems, a Facebook user, provided to Facebook was transferred from Facebook's Irish subsidiary, Facebook Ireland, to Facebook's server located in the United States. Schrems lodged a complaint with the Irish Data Protection Authority, taking the view that in light of the relevant revelations made in 2013 by Edward Snowden concerning the activities of United States intelligence services, in particular the NSA, the law and practices of the U.S. offer no real protections against surveillance by the U.S. of the data transfer to that country. The Irish authority rejected the complaint on the ground that in a decision of 26 July 2000, the Commission considered that under the Safe Harbor Scheme, the U.S. ensures an adequate level of protection of the personal data transfer. Schrems appealed the decision of the DPC before the Irish High Court. The court decided to stay the proceedings and to refer the following question to the CGEU for pre preliminary ruling. May and or must the National Data Protection Supervisory Authority conduct his or her own investigation of the adequacy of data protection in a third world country or the commissioner is absolutely bound by the commission's decision? On September 23, 2015, Advocate General 
Eve Watt issued his opinion on the case. The Advocate General's opinion indicated that the safe harbor arrangement which permitted the transfer of the personal data from the EU to the US must end because the arrangement failed to provide the requisite legal protection under EU laws and thus must be declared invalid. The CJ EU issued its ruling on October 6, 2015, the agreeing with the advocate and invalidating safe harbor. The court ruled that national data protection authorities have the right to investigate the adequacy of data transfers under the EU-US safe harbor arrangement or any other arrangements concluded pursuant to an adequacy decision by the European Commission for that matter and the safe harbor arrangement should be invalid due to the lack of adequacy. The court found that the framework is invalid for several reasons. The scheme allows for government interface of the protections. It does not provide legal remedies for individuals who seek to access data related to them or have it erased or amended. And it prevents national supervisory authorities from exercising their powers. Under EU law, Data sharing with countries deemed to have low, lower privacy standards, including the US, are prohibited. Such activities will be such activities will only be possible through more expensive and time-consuming methods. Now on to the implications. Thousands of companies rely These are some of the questions that we can discuss. Why was the case significant for the development of the EU privacy laws? What problem does the privacy shield share as a safe harbor framework? What do you think about big organization collecting people's personal data? How would you feel about adding an explicit right to privacy in the US Constitution? Thank you.